Who is it? Professor Nicholas? Who is this? It's me, Jason. Jason Jackson, your student and friend. Jason Jackson? What are you doing here? I'm here because tonight's the night. What are you talking about? Come on, Professor. I've been waiting as long as you have. I wasn't going to miss it. Please leave. No one knows I'm here. I'm risking my life by coming. I was with you when this started. I want to be here for the end. Do you want to be alone on the most important night of your life? <sighs> Professor, how are you? It's been 10 years. How do I look? Not so good. My lungs, poisoned. You mean you live up here? Not in the vault. Used to be a time when people came to the mountains to get clean air. That was a long time ago, Professor. Life outside the vault is deadly. Yeah, there used to be a time when people could live and work where they wanted to. The vaults are there for our protection, our safety. <laughs> the mantra of every tyrant and dictator. <sighs> this place hasn't changed. Remember the last time you were here? <sighs> you told me I was a fool to believe in my dreams. I was wasting my career and my life on Something that does not exist. You told me that science was the pursuit of facts, not fantasy. Professor, I didn't mean... Uh, you're here tonight. That's right. Do you believe? I do. I rechecked your calculations and I think you are 100% right. There might be one or more of those planets orbiting that sun. One or more of those planets might be harboring life. And when public opinion imposed by the state held that life outside the solar system was impossible, where were you? I regret my position. You regret everything that has happened to you? Every success you've hap enjoyed? Every accolade heaped upon you, all the money you've made? Because it was all set that day. You were anointed the team player, the Patriot, and I branded the Maverick, the Lunatic. I'm sorry, Professor. I almost believed it myself until the night. Gaze into the telescope and watch the tiny speck that was in reality enormous sun wobble on its axis ever so slightly. Which told you that there, there were other celestial bodies circling around it, pulling the star off its axis by its own gravity. That night I dreamed. I was there. I saw it. Lush jungles, deep blue seas, a shimmering sea full of life, creatures both familiar and unique. I dove beneath the waves and felt the water surround me. I saw schools of fish and things we have no word for. You're an old fool to believe your, your dreams. How can anyone dream when we can barely survive? I know it's there just as I've seen when my proposal for a mission to send a probe was denied. I spent my own money, used my own family's fortune to build that probe and the deep space telescope on board, and I sent it off on a ten-year journey to prove if my dream was true. And tonight, 
the probe is orbiting that far off solar system. What are you doing? Stand up. Move away from the computer. You're going to kill me? That's right. I make sure no one ever learns of my discovery. Wrong, Professor. The whole world will know of your discovery, but they will think I was the one who discovered it. The government put you up to this? Oh, no. They still consider you a lunatic. This was all my idea. I will present your data as my own and proclaim myself savior. That planet out there, your planet, will provide the resources needed to reestablish this planet to its former glory or we'll send ships and recolonize. A fresh new start. New fields to harvest. All thanks, all praise, all glory to me. Did I ever tell you why I became an astronomer about my grandfather's cabin in the woods. I would spend all summer with the old man telling me stories about the stars and outer space. And I'll never forget the morning he dragged me out of bed and forced me to watch the sunrise. Have you ever done that? Woke up while it was still dark and watched the world change to light. First the birds, then the blue skies. Something like that makes you believe there has to be a God. I, why else would there be all that spectacle, all that show? Did he do it for us so we should revere and respect his power? I don't think so. Maybe he did it for himself. <laughs> and the point of this? Years later, after my grandfather died, I went back. Cabin was gone. Woods disappeared. All that was left was the asphalt road the lockers used to take the trees away. So what? Look around you at this world and what we've done to it. He's used up every natural resource this planet gave to us. We burned down the forests, and turned the grasslands into desert, polluted the skies, the water. We fished until every fish was gone. We've choked the birds out of the sky. We forced ourselves to live in these vaults with filtered air and chemically treated water. The government allowed this to happen. The government encouraged it to happen, encouraged it so they could have control, control over the food we eat and the air we breathe, and they force us to live in the underground cities and work where they tell us, well, maybe, I want to live on a farm and grow my own food and be my own man. They don't allow it. They do it for your own good. Look at you! Your lungs? If you lived in the vault, you'd be fine. I'd be a prisoner and a fool. But tonight, <laughs> You're the fool. <laughs> How do you figure? 
considering the guns pointed at you. <laughs> because a second timer is set to expire two minutes after we receive the images from the probe. And a bomb will destroy all the data in this entire mountaintop. You see, my mind was made up long ago not to share my discovery with anyone. This toilet world doesn't deserve to know paradise, and that's what my planet is, an untouched paradise. How do you know? You haven't seen it! <laughs> no, you're the one who cannot see. I've seen it every night in my dreams. When was the last time you dreamed? When was the last time you looked up at the stars and dreamed? You can't see the stars from an underground prison. <laughs> and your actions tonight confirm my beliefs and prove my decision correct. We destroyed one planet. I'm not going to allow anyone to interfere with the natural process of that far off, untouched Eden. Very good, Professor. You haven't lost your lecturing skills or your ability to convey your own beliefs to others. The only problem is I don't believe for a second that you would sabotage your life's work. I know you too well, Professor. You want them to eat crow. You want to stick your righteousness in the face of all who wronged you. You want to become the savior, the hero. Don't confuse your desires for mine. I only want to prove it to myself. I'm calling your bluff, Professor. You want the world to know that you were right and they were wrong. You want redemption, vindication, revenge. Try me. I have nothing to, to lose or to gain. You're the one with the life, with everything to lose. All I have are my dreams. <laughs> if you want to make your castles last forever, you make them out of Beautiful.